Several groups in Kent County are working together to help more parents access subsidies for child care. They say a lot of funding goes unused. News is Kyle Mitchell explains some of the biggest challenges providers and parents are facing. Child care centers like this are seeing a strong demand and most have a waiting list to get into the program. We see a demand here. The director of this early learning center in southwest Grand Rapids says there are no empty seats in its classrooms. There is definitely um, wait lists almost everywhere and unfortunately a lot of centers aren't running at capacity because of some teachers challenges, not enough teachers, um, and that's made a big impact in terms of children being able to get into classrooms. More than a dozen Kent County community organizations met today to talk about how to make parents more aware of funding. We do have subsidies available that come to our state from the federal government, but many of them go unused because either people don't know about them or it becomes a challenge or a barrier to access subsidies uh, which would make uh, it easier for families to um, access uh, child care but also for businesses the business community really supports families having access to subsidies First Steps Kent is working with child care groups throughout the county to find new ways to help people access federal subsidies that are distributed through the state. There are a lot of great organizations doing fantastic work related to child care in the community, so it really became about bringing those partners together. Coming up at 7, we'll hear additional ways community groups are working to meet the child care need. In Grand Rapids, Kyle Mitchell, News 8.